Well, I think too that um, you know I I have had experiences with other beings, whether they're you know extraterrestrial or you know or just interdimensional or just what yes. they are. I don't know, but you know I've had some really bizarre car accidents. Mm -hmm. And I think what somebody was trying to tell me was that reality is not always what you think it is. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, I've, I've had accidents, even here in Fernley, um, where this elderly woman that was wearing oxygen, um, an oxygen tube, tube connected to an oxygen tank, she, uh, I was at McDonald's to get a Diet Coke. And I was looking for some change to do that. And my head was down. And I was just sitting there. And she backed up her car instead of going forward. She went backward and went and went crashing right into me. And I mean, oh, wow. great. You know, I'm going, <laughs> wonderful. You know, <laughs> okay, I guess my radiator is gone and everything else. So, you know, I get it because it was pretty significant. And um, I get out of my car. She gets out of her car. We both get over to our, you know, to, to our cars, there's no damage. Wow. Okay. Absolutely okay. zero damage, no paint, no, and she looked at me and she started crying. Yeah. And I looked at her and I said, she said, um, she said, um, something about God loves me or God must love me. And I said, uh, I think God loves us both. <laughs> I said, she said, there's no damage. And she, she was so shocked. She said, there's, there's no damage. And, um, I said, yeah, no, I, 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 I see it. It's happened to me before. And, um, she, uh, she was just truly, truly shocked and she was shaken up. You know, she got back into her car and, you know, we said goodbye and I hugged her because, uh, she was just about ready to faint, you know? And I know that feeling. Yeah, but that's interesting. It oh. was interesting. And I just sat there and I thought, you know what? I think you're trying to tell me something. Yeah. In that reality is maybe not what we always think it is. And that maybe solid mass isn't always what we think it is. So you're thinking and along the simulation line, holographic simulation? I don't know. <laughs> possibly. Possibly. I don't know. But I've, I've had that happen before where I was down in Silver Springs. I was delivering food um, and groceries and other, you know, survival items to a family that was in desperate need. And I accidentally backed into their log that was in their driveway. And she, you know, she goes, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. It was a very significant dent. And I thought, oh, great. You know, Joe's going to kill me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I was crying all the way up the hill and I got home to take a look at the damage again, you know, and a little bit, you know, since I'd gone to pieces, you know, I wanted to see it now after I collected myself, I went to take a look at the damage and the fender was completely, it, it was back to normal. Wow. Yeah. 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 It was all back to normal. And I sat there and I thought, you know, I need to call Hyundai to find out if they put, memory metal into their cars <laughs> i i did i actually I, I i actually did i called uh the hyundai uh engineering in los angeles california uh to talk to them and um the gal said wait a minute you know we'll go she took down the the my uh my vin number and everything on the car and so she she went and she started looking it up the engineers were looking it up and they said um no i don't have memory metal in my car and uh they you know then i started a little later the woman was crying in fact she came back i told her about what had happened and she was crying she said you have guardian angels mm. and uh i said well i've got something you know i don't know what it is but you know i've got something mm. and um i'm grateful but um anyway uh, the engineers a little later i got a I got a message that, you know, they wouldn't mind having my car if I could, if I could, you know, turn my car into them. Oh, and I okay. thought, 
Yeah, I, I thought probably they might just wanted to, you know, check it over. Because <laughs> it's had several incidents where, you know, what should have been a major crash wasn't. What should have been. And other people have been there. Other people have seen the damage. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it, it all of a sudden disappears. God, I wish you could come and uh, see my car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> come and drive my car for a day and ding it. <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> I've got a few other dings you can it can go, it can fix too. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Classic. So, um, are, are there are there any repercussions to yourself physically or spiritually due to your ability to remote view? I mean, is it has this been a good career? Uh, it has. Now, I did stop remote viewing when the former advisor to Libya, um, yeah. I voluntarily stopped remote viewing. I, I called up my boss and I said, I have to stop because I don't want to have a viewing that is used as espionage for Pakistan. Yeah. And, you know, and I said, I just, I, I just don't want to do that. And so I did, I stopped myself. I voluntarily, you know, did that so I wouldn't be accused of being a spy. And, uh, you know, and then I, I just bowed out. But a lot of people wanted to say I was a spy anyway, whether I was or not. You know, it's just, oh, you're a spy. You're spying on this, that, and the other. No, I'm not. <laughs> I like being but, paid if I spy. <laughs> but, I suppose, but I suppose every country, as you say, has, has their own remote viewers. And, you know, like you can imagine the Russian ones are, are probably selected from school and taken off to a special place, you know. Well, there must, be, there must be some good ones out there. <laughs> well, actually, our our remote viewing uh, program started right after the Russians. We discovered Russians doing some very different things, and um, th and then we started in on on our program. Mm -hmm. And so it was the uh, Russians are actually you know pretty advanced. Oh yeah, I imagine they would be. Yeah. Uh, they're very. Uh, I mean, everything that they do, they want to be the best at. So they always, you know, they get they get the kids early, separate them from the parents, and you know, focus on that that trait or that ability. Right. So I can imagine they've got the best in the world, to be honest. I I would imagine that they do. I I think they they've got some you know fairly amazing viewers and fairly amazing technologies. It makes you wonder why why. Why anyone would need Trump? But <laughs> 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 they got these. <laughs> I mean, I love to be honest. I love your president. I think he's great. But you know how he's always linked to Russia. I don't think they. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't think they need. If they've got great remote viewers, they don't need to have. <laughs> I know him and his tweeting and everything oh. else. Yeah. Oh, he cracks me up. Uh, the. Did you see the other day he posted him with a a, a, a laser pointer um, making a cat run around a board? Oh, no. I'm oh, seriously. And everybody bit. And it was like, um, and he was only, it was obviously a distraction. He was obviously trying to get something through a bill or something. And it, it was. I think he got, got you another 180 judges or something. <laughs> something amazing. So, yeah. He's he's such a um, I think with him people either love him or hate him, don't they? It's, there's no middle ground. It's either one or the other, you know. Yeah. I I think he's he's quite brilliant the way he manipulates the press, to be honest, and the media. <laughs> yeah, and they they bite every time. It's yeah. sad. So are you are you a trumpeteer or are you on on the other side? I stay away from politics. That's oh, one of the clever. things that we do. <laughs> Religion we stay away from. Politics we stay away from. You know, anything that is is a, uh, you know, a trigger for anybody. We just, we're neutral. Yeah. Fence sitter. You're a fence sitter. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Well, it's kind of expected. It's expected behavior. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I yeah, I think you've got to be more careful in the U.S. at the moment. There's a lot of people are so easily offended. 
So you probably find that over time you've had to be a little bit more like, well, I'll just keep this to myself. And <laughs> so. Oh yeah. <laughs> It, it can be it can be lethal over here. I mean, there are some people that yeah. are pretty adamant. And it's almost, a, you know, it's dangerous to mention anything political. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mention anything of a political nature. It's bizarre, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's human the, nature. Yeah, I mean, I remember you my mom telling me you never speak at a dinner party about sex, religion or politics. Those are the three things you should never discuss in polite society. So maybe that was a very good, you know, <laughs> suggestion. And uh, yeah, it's it's just um, I can't, it's quite amazing how everyone now has an opinion on politics, whereas I don't know, ten years ago, no one, everyone thought it was so boring, didn't they? Yeah. You know, why don't we go back to that? <laughs> well probably not until um for another four years at least i'd say yeah probably <laughs> uh... do you know i had a thought the other day um do you think he he'll his son and daughter will run i don't know i think they will i had this psychic impression that there's going to be 16 years of trumps in the white house Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, that'll cool some people. <laughs> and then, and then when they run out of trumps, they can move on to the Kushners. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, really. Oh, oh classic, classic, classic. So, yes. No, I mean, I must admit, I do enjoy the trolling, his his memes and his trolling. So. I've, I've never really been a Twitter person. Are you on Twitter? Yeah. No, I've only been on there for the magazine, but I must admit, um, and I never usually follow anyone, but I follow him because he amuses me. Yeah. You know, he's um, he's got a very dry sense of humour, you know, and but it, it's my sense of humour, I think. Is it your sense of humour? Yeah. I'm, I, I come from a, a British background, so... Uh. Yeah, too. So, yeah, <laughs> a dry sense of humor is, oh, is something I enjoy. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's So he's, he's kind of my entertainment at times, you know, and, mm-hmm. and he's like nothing sticks to him. A good nickname for him would be Teflon Trump. Oh, yep, yeah, that would be perfect, yeah. Because yep. no matter what what is thrown at him, it just kind of slides off and away. I mean, it usually flicks back at them, you know. <laughs> it's like just amazing. So, mm-hmm. yes, I think it's a very special time. You should be <laughs> documenting <Yeah>. everything because <laughs> uh, I don't think there'll ever be another one like him ever again. So, mm-hmm. so are, are you and Joe both in the same kind of? political sphere uh, or is this one of the reasons you don't talk about it <laughs> we we don't really talk about it sometimes um but we just you know it, it politics is just not something that we really discuss and I that's know. been 30 years of it so we don't yeah. really discuss anything we haven't discussed much of anything for 30 years so <laughs> well, uh, yeah it's it really is only since he's come along that anyone's really paid any attention to politics. I mean, it's up, uh, up until then, it was like once every blue moon, something awful would happen and then everybody would get excited and then it would die down within a day and then back to normal. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, no. So how long have you had four, the dog? Oh, four is, well, he just turned uh, a year on, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. On August on August twenty third he was he became one years old, so Wow. Yeah. He's big for a one year old, isn't he? He's He is, he is big. And uh I mean he's he's quite tall. Um mm. he's right up there with the counters. I yeah. mean now now everything has to be pushed back because if I leave anything on the counter like a chicken, it's gone. Oh really? 
It is. <laughs> it is. It, it's like I have to be so careful now. <laughs> you don't have that. I don't have that problem. I have cats. <laughs> oh. Although, no, they might. <laughs> Uh, the what the worst owls do are uh, occasionally um, they they bring things in from outside. They're hunters, you know, and so I occasionally I wake up to you know a very happy cat wanting to show me something, you know, that they have hunted, and it's like oh, take it away. <laughs> oh, no. Aww. So, so I, I yeah, I can tolerate that. <laughs> Um, well, Sharon, can we take just a, a few minutes break? Can I? Can I, I take a? We're actually done. Oh, okay. That's we are. Fine. We're all we're all done. I was just going to ask if you had any anything you'd like to ask while we're on. Otherwise, I'll let you get back to your day and I'll go to bed. <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay. Uh, actually, there's there's nothing else. Um, I'm trying to look at your questions to see that we. Oh, we, co we covered everything. Okay, yeah. yeah. We, did, okay. we did the work. The, the only extra thing I'd like is, um, would would you give, send me through a few more photographs of your... Um, Sessions? I don't know, yeah, or more of you, actually, of oh. um, maybe around the time you were doing the remote viewing. Oh, okay. If you have anything. Yeah, I, I do... Um, hmm. yeah, I only have one picture that my, my boss took, um, of the, actually the, <laughs> the clay structure, uh, that I made <laughs> of the Brandenburg <laughs> gate that is just oh. so embarrassing because no, that, like, we've that got to have pilot, it. <laughs> the pilot actually, he sculpted this castle that was exactly like <laughs> The castle in the photograph, and it was beautiful. And he had the turret just in white and little red flags, and everything was perfect. He even had shrubbery. <laughs> and I'm going, oh my gosh! <laughs> my my Brandenburg Gate is yellow. Oh, I just my... used yellow and made my columns just by straight. You know, oh, it was awful. It was like a two-year-old. <laughs> and I, I have that photograph, but I do have some photographs. I'm, I'm going to have to dig them up um, of my other, my other classmate and myself out at the lake um, there at Boulder, Boulder Dam, uh, Nevada, where, uh, you know, we took that sensitivity training where oh, we had yeah. to, you know, start looking at the colors and the textures and, and the feel of the, the wind. And it was pretty windy. It was cold but oh, that um, perfect that would be perfect okay well um how well yeah I, I guess i can scan it and send it to you then yeah that'd be great um okay. and i've already got a remote viewing manual so i'll uh, attach that to the to this one too because okay. most people will see this and they'll say oh let's have a go at it so <laughs> sure. we'll, we'll get them do that and well you know it's just like my high school you know the high school kids if it had yeah. not been for those high school kids, I would have been really in a lot of trouble. Um, I, their, their intelligence gathering in just that short amount of time um, actually gave me enough information that I needed so I wouldn't be so scared. You did, know? You say, did you say you got into trouble for using them? I did. I did. I got into trouble. I told my boss about it. You're not supposed to do that because they might see something that will be traumatizing and all this other stuff. And I thought these kids are pretty, you know, they they're blowing things up constantly with, you know, with their, you know, with the, the video games, you know, that it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that life threatening, you know, and it wasn't, they didn't see anything that was, you know, uh, oh, Too traumatizing. Traumatic. Yeah, no traumatizing anything. Those kids were great. They did a yeah. terrific job. But that sounds, sounds, sounds like just what you needed at the time you, you needed it. So, again, I, guardian I think, angel stuff. Yeah, there it was. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs>